Hey guys, we are at Milford Lake in Kansas. We was down here filming an episode of On the Hook yesterday and the fishing was so good, Brittany wanted to get in on the fishing action. So we stayed an extra day here at Acorns Resort. They set us up in a big old cabin, fed us some awesome food down there at the Cove restaurant. And we got out there and we flat jacked them up. We're gonna go through where to find crappie this time of year in this water temperature, uh, going into the winter, where they're gonna be, why are they gonna be there, what are they doing there, and how do you catch them? So guys, let's get to the water. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. Now, let's go fishing. <laughs> looking got him got him let me net him oh about lost my all right flip him out there we go nice black crappie pretty good size This is what they look like when they're laid up on the rocks. You've got the rocks down here. That's just a massive school of crappie right there. It's got white crappie, black crappie, and a few white bass mixed in with it. We just keep on casting and keep on jacking them. There's one following it through there. Get him. Oh, flippy man. Tank of a black crappie. Oh my God, what a tank. Oh. Spot lock is here. Did you make sure and get that all over the screen? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, what a fish, Brittany. How do you like this casting for crappie? I like it pretty good. That's your biggest black crappie so far, I believe. Yeah. Hey, that's a pretty doggone good one. All right, here I'll. I'll go throw him in the live wheel since I didn't net him, catch him, or nothing. Let's let him go in there with some of his buddies. What's going on here? We're right against this chunk rock, and we're just bringing it right over the top of the rock, just casting and retrieving. And they, these black crappie and white crappie alike, mostly blacks, are up on these rocks. And these black crappie will stay on these rocks even up in the summer. So if you've got a good chunk rock with a steep drop off, you've got to stop and check it out because there's gonna be crappie. Sometimes they're laid so close to the rock, you can't even tell that they're crappie. You can just tell there's something there moving. And in a situation where you don't have uh, electronics, just take to casting and dragging it down the contour across the drop off. Eventually you will run into these fish. Yeah, right here. That's just a big bunch of crappie all lined up across the bottom right there, right on the edge of this ledge. And they're more than likely mostly all black crappie, the way they're set up on the ledge. And plus the way they're biting. We've caught a few whites, but mostly blacks. I seen one come up. He's after you. Drop down to the others. Got him. Got him. Oh, it looks like yeah, pretty. It like okay, let me get the net. Let me get the net. Oh, I like it that it's ripping some drag. <laughs> a huge black crappie and then a huge white crappie out of the exact same school. 
Do what? I said I was starting to question whether I could catch any. <laughs> <laughs> they got kind of ornery on us. We're right here. See all this chunk rock? These black crappie like getting up on this chunk rock, and that continues on down out here in the lake. Very steep drop off. Five foot at the back of the boat. 24 feet at 40 feet out, and there they are all schooled up. Now these will probably mainly be black crappie, but we have been catching a few white crappie out there too. They're mixed in a little bit. Got him. Got him? Big him? Yeah, nice one. Oh yeah? I'm sorry, I was trying to get live scope footage. Let's get him netted for Miss Brittany. Oh, God dang, it is oh, about to drop my phone in the lake. Man, I like the way that fish fills that net out. <laughs> Did it go all the way through his lip, the whole thing? What have we got there? It did. The whole jig head went through its lip. Oh. Yeah. Hold him up, and then we'll get him loose. Ow. <laughs> now she's stuck in her head. Oh, we have one over here. <laughs> did you get him? Yep. Is he still on her? Yeah, I was just ruining some. Oh, okay. No, you're good. Bring him on up. Show me what you got there. Now you've hit the sweet spot. I eat a sandwich while we wait on it to go down. Ain't got a lot of choice about that though. If we uh, go to a bigger jig head, it'll move across the pile too fast and then we won't be able to catch the fish. They're liking the slower presentation. Come on, baby. That one turned. Come on, come on. Here comes another one. What have you got, Brittany? I'm just gonna go to the back and videotape this. <laughs> Big old white bass. <laughs> she said, oh, I got him. This is not a crappie. Now watch them things. They will flat get you. Man, we've caught a ton of white bass today. <laughs> it just um, it just amazes me the way these fish will school up on these ledges, and we're still doing the exact same thing. We're just going right down this chunk rock bank and finding these huge, massive schools of fish. This time of year, they will start doing this, and most of the time, they'll get in a little bit deeper water. We're 20-some uh, foot deep, 24 foot deep, right on the edge of this ledge. We're trying to stay in that 30 to 35 foot out range from them to keep from spoking them because the water's so clear. Water temp is almost 54 degrees right here, and it's 11.20 a.m. what we got. Oh, big one. All day, all day. I love this lake. Milford Lake, Kansas. Acorns Resort. Huh? Guys, this is probably going to wrap it up for me and Brittany for the day. Okay. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for us here today. We have had absolute ball out here Brittany got on some tanks she even let me catch one or two if y'all have learned anything if you've enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button like this video and on until next week when we come at you with a totally different location 
totally different situation, and we're gonna see if we can't put some on the hook.